because I don't feel like there's ever things for me to talk about before these episodes. I'm just going to make a prediction that we're going to get full silliness for the entirety of this. And there's going to be zero like semi serious moments as we've had like in the past, even though they mix like silliness into it. Uh, usually there's like a hint of seriousness to some of these things. I'm just going to guess it's none of that. And then we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else. If you like it all, then like and subscribe to it a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Leave any comments about this episode or series. Let's go in the episode. Are we got eight or nine? I don't remember. Whatever one. Go. Let's go. This is my guy. Actually, I don't claim him. That's not true. <laughs> uh, yeah, get away from that creep, bro. Oh no, he likes this. Oh no. <laughs> and I missed it. <laughs> yeah, you should be in prison, brother. <laughs> Look my whole life like this. Come on. The amazement over his hair. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> do, you, do you have the courage to bring it up? Come on. Okay. Well, <laughs> she's not going to. No one will. <laughs> Something else bothers me. Oh. Yeah. Can't use the restroom. Yeah, how do you not pick up on the idea that that could be a... Oh, Yuki's gonna freak it when she gets in there. <laughs> Gotta open your eyes, though. Oh. It's kind of goofy though, but still. <laughs> My man's feeling cute. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I put it back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's magic, yeah. <laughs> It's not a compliment. Let's <laughs> just leaving a trace of keys. He's got to find his way back. No, don't pick them up. The other guy is going to be pissed. <laughs> it should be his job. He should be here. That we know. <laughs> Seems like you have trouble remembering anything, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I knew he would be pissed about those. Yeah. <laughs> I never imagined her as that type. <laughs> Why she offered him, but not me? <laughs> Maybe she started carrying it because of that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You openly stated. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. 100%. Take one for the road, though. Come on. Oh, my God. That should be us. <laughs> Start hitting the window, bro. Yeah. Don't you dare. <laughs> I just felt like it. <laughs> it just felt like it. Just you two. <笑>なんで。いや、変に思われんじゃん。俺にはいいけど。オフコース、オフコース。宮村、明日のあれ、オッケーだって。What <笑> <laughs> Tori doesn't even want to be involved anymore. やっぱでけえな。大きいことはいいことだ。俺は見た目も大事だと思うけど。いや、大きい方が良いと感じる。What <laughs> a line, bro. おい、これ思春期少年たち、何楽しそうなもの持ってきちゃってるの安田ってどこに住んでんの なんだ、もやしにだ。違うよって拘束に教室で刑期禁止なんて書いてないし。いや、バフォーバジビーインファッキングウィアードアバウト。そうよ。安田の家学校の近くだよな。俺年賀状書いたことあるから覚えてるわ
ちょっとそんなのと一緒にしないでよそれ以前に鍵閉めの段階で気づく<笑> That's what I'm saying まあ何してたかどうかは調べればわかることだほれとりあえず服脱いでみろ何してるんですか What? 安田先生寺島先生いいところに<笑>あなたは戦国の方を調べてください普通逆でしょう<笑>調べませんよバカバカしい。下半身調べればすぐわかりますよ。<笑> all we need to know. It's a necessity here. 先生、過去にそうやって女子生徒に変なことしてないでしょう。な<笑>あなたたち帰っていいわ。私はこの変態教師と話があります。一人だったの怖くなかった二人、戦国もいたわ。<笑> you don't gotta worry about him. The last person you gotta worry about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> should be worried about it for that reason, though. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, she really straightened them out. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Yeah. I gotta say, well, Yasuda is like a complete creep. And I understand that's the point of his his character. I'm glad they at least try to like even him out almost uh, with having all like the students and even the other teachers and stuff around him like call him out for the shit that he tries to say and the things that he tries to do. Like I, I appreciate that uh, at least. Well, it's still like weird that we use him just being the fucking creep and you know just the way he is as a as a way of comedy in a way. Uh, and while it can work in certain situations, it's just like it, it, it works in sometimes here, but sometimes it just doesn't. And it's just like, why would you say that? You know, no, I'm like one of the last people who's going to be like angry and trying to like do away with this show and like everything about you know, the story and stuff because of a character like it, right? Like I, it doesn't bother me much and I can find humor in some of the jokes and stuff like that uh, while I completely understand if you know and you have issues with it because I, I can see them. And as I just tried to point out slightly there, there definitely are some problems and, and you would prefer for him to at least not be written that way or you to be, I guess, smarter in the way that this is written that you don't have to put a character like him in there. Um, but it's one of those things we got what we got and me complaining about that isn't going to change anything or do anything, you know, so it just saying enough that it's fucking weird the way that he is, is the most i feel like i can really do i guess all i can say is at least they're not forcing it in a direction that like because i that's the type of story that it is so of course they're not but it could easily go down like a much more weird and worse route than they're they're leading it to be so far uh and him as a person could definitely be a bit more I guess aggressive and forceful in his approaches, uh, which luckily they don't do that. So I guess that's all I, I say. I'm, I'm thankful that they don't push it that far. I don't, I don't really know what else to say about it. We get a complete episode basically dedicated to the teachers here, specifically Yasuda, and then they put in the the other like like green hair guy. I don't remember what they said his name was, uh, and then the other teacher here who she is like supposed to be countering him and shutting down like absolutely everything that he says right I, I it works uh i wish we got maybe more focus on like her or the other guy even though they gave us a little bit but for the most part it's about yasuda uh basically starting us off with him getting his hair done or people kind of messing around and doing that this is where they use those jokes and it's like weird that he does it but they can play off and make these teacher jokes and stuff fun uh, because of the stuff that he does with his hair and the way that the characters react and the way that like everything comes about and this this whole first sequence with this joke uh, it works really well and it doesn't rely on him being him for the most part right and it works really well more so of what i guess i wish they went for and the the things that i wish that we had uh, for the entirety of this 
I love everyone just struggling to actually say the things that they want to because they don't want to bring it up in case this is like an actual decision that he made on his own uh, and they don't want to like bring him down about it. I love Yuki coming in though and the first thing she does is call him out and just I laugh because of it. I also love the the amount of like Yuki focus that we kind of got here. Uh, she's a character I, I feel is like one of the ones I like the most probably out of the cast. I like like her, Sakura, Remy, Sengoku... For the most part, those are probably my my top half of the ones that I really like. This whole joke was like, eh, to me. Didn't really do much of him dropping the keys and then making like a joke out of it and him constantly having like the hole in his pocket and stuff. It's like, yeah, it didn't really do much for me. Uh, I really like this. This is a cute moment. Uh, I mean, it's a bit weird on the outside with what's going on once again with Yasuda and stuff, but I think the, the idea of having Yuki, this person who, you know, in close relation to uh, Toru here, started carrying around things so that she can like sew and repair his stuff because he keeps like losing his buttons and like ripping his shit right and she started doing it after the fact but he won't bring it up to her anymore because i mean he doesn't want to bring attention to it uh but she's kind of a bit upset about the idea that he doesn't tell her doesn't say anything so she just kind of feels like she's bringing them around for like nothing but it is kind of cute how that one interaction between them made him want like or made her want to like do this so that she can be helpful and useful uh towards him in the future which i really really like the palm reading thing is kind of funny, just how it, it kind of comes out of nowhere because it the way that it's displayed, it seems rather, rather weird. And then we get fun thing, everybody with the cake. I love this, like the constant harassing of the teacher, turning like the joke on him almost, the the putting like asking him questions, trying to get things out of him about like his personal life and like all this other stuff. And I think once again, that's really fun. But then they start making it weird with some of the stuff that goes down later specifically trying to convince everybody to bring horror and stuff it's like we don't i mean i get it it fits with his character but once again we don't need that uh and then once again later this whole moment's fun of them getting locked in and then having him be there late and all that i get it it makes it fun but then he's weird when he starts trying to uh, you know be like oh we have to check and we you guys got to take your clothes off it's like uh, we don't we don't need that bro like why why is your head going there you know so i'm happy that she kind of put him in his place and fucking brainwashed him basically uh put him back to normal hopefully but then they said it got reverted the next day so is what it is it's an episode filled with things that are are fun and good for the most part but it gets ruined uh and kind of destroyed a bit by yasuda's kind of character but also the the constant gag and joke about him gets old fairly quick uh it's something that I, I don't even remember him i'll be honest from the main series so i remember when they first mentioned something about him or his first time he reappeared in this this season uh i was like i thought it was really funny the way that they were kind of presenting him and doing these jokes because it's like it was a shock almost to me to like have them actually have a character like him but now that he's constantly keeps reappearing again uh and i'm remembering all the stuff about him and everything that they keep doing same joke over and over basically about him well, it becomes a little old and i'm not the biggest fan of the him or them constantly using that uh and once again while they were able to do things that seem clever enough and enjoyable enough uh, that didn't rely on that being like the primary focus of every one of his jokes when they mix it in there in certain moments when things are getting good, it can kind of make things a little sour. A bit unfortunate. It's gonna be all for me though. Uh, let me know overall what you thought. If you liked it, if you didn't, do you feel the same way about Yasuda as kind of I do, or do you have problems with him based on whatever? If not, and you're just cool, but let me know also. Uh, <laughs> if you like it all, like and subscribe. Do you mean a lot to me? Feel free to check out the other videos on the channel. Leave me comments with this episode or series. I'll be back for episode 10 soon. You guys have a good one. Peace.